Suge and that collect call already making noise. Oh. Former De Death Row CEO Suge Knight has made some explosive allegations about Akon, putting some of their past issues into a whole different light. Man, as an African, I got to say shout out to Akon, a legend. Anyway, speaking with Source Magazine co-founder Dave Mays on the first episode of the former Death Row mogul's new podcast, Collect Call with Suge Knight, he claims his beef with Smack That All On The Floor. I mean, uh, Smack That Singer didn't step from money issues, but from an alleged incident where Akon and his longtime producer, Detail, allegedly sexually assaulted a 13-year-old sister of one of Knight's associates, as well as the girl's 12-year-old friend. All right, let's unpack. I wasn't going to bring it up, Shug began, addressing Akon differently, but one of my homegirls, she was a hustler. She had a little sister, 13 years old, and her best friend was 12 years old. She's in a car with him, right? You and Detail call her, Shug's homegirl, and she said, I got my little sister and her best friend with me. I said, what then? Stop by for a second. She go by y'all hotel room in y'all room, and she gets a call. It was the dude she met at the hotel when she be when she was coming to see you, MFs. He said, come by, just for 20 minutes. And she said, I can't do it right now. I got to take my little sister home with her friend. I'll be back in about an hour, he said. Come by in 20 minutes. I got a big payday for you. Akon said, go ahead. You can leave your little sister and her friend right here. We can order them something to eat. Allegedly, he continued. She goes to the next room. She says she comes back in about 35 minutes when she gets back in the room. Her little sister and that other little girl don't want to eat anymore. They look scared and they're crying. When she gets back in the car with them, they tell her, Akon, you F the little girl. Detail mess with the little girl, 12 years old. Y'all raped them, said Suge. So when she told me, I put up on her, and she said she's gonna police. She's gonna put the police on you. He included. I said, Nah, we don't do that. Tell him to the police. I'll deal with it. I promise you that. So I was trying to catch you, M. Is about the situation. Okay. Sources has reached out to both Akon and Details teams for comment on Suge Knight's claim. While he's yet to comment on Knight's claim in the podcast episode, Akon claimed back in 2022. I'm sorry, back in claim. Akon claimed back in 2020 that his beef with the former Death Row Records CEO stemmed from a money issue. In 2009, Knight and Akon got into a scuffle at a party in Scottsdale, Arizona that left music manager Robert Ja Carnes Jr., who was part of Akon's team at the time, charged with one count of felony aggravated assault due to the severity of the victim's injury. Another man, identified as Thomas 2 Ts Anderson, was arrested on suspicion of assault and disorderly conduct. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot. Akon is a, like, as an African, Akon is like, he one of the ones for us, bro. Like, he's, he's legendary, bro. So, to hear this kind of news, obviously, there hasn't any merit to it. So, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But just hearing that is kind of like, whoa. Anyways, Akon opened up that night, which apparently went south after Knight confronted him about an alleged 12,500 debt he had with Detail, who was actually arrested in 2020 and charged with 15 counts of sexual assault, unrelated to Suge Knight's allegation. Ooh, we. Okay. All right. Retelling this version of events, Knight still addressing Akon directly said, I pull up there with a B. There's 20 of you MFs. I get out. I holler at Chris Brown and tell him I'll catch him later. Fired on you. Fired on your MF and brother. Trip this MF. -er, two feet tall to the ground. Get up running. Take off running. And the rest of y'all running. That's the end of that. So, Chomo ASS MF. -er, don't get out there putting out stories when you know the truth. He concluded. But at the end of the day, that's like weirdos. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What, like, whoa, Akon, who's responsible for building a whole s country that doesn't take away from what someone's capable of doing at, behind closed doors. But then again, Suge, who knows if Suge is a disgruntled former associate and maybe put, who knows? Like, oh, we'd have to have more merit to just deem this as something that he did. Obviously, this is all alleged, but this is just a lot to take in, a lot to unpack. But what do y'all think? 